I'm a member of the Institute of Chartered Accountants England and Wales. I've been a Chartered Accountant for nearly 25 years and an active private investor uh, for a little longer, about 30 years in total. Uh, since 2012, I've been on the boards of companies mainly aim in London in the roles of Chairman, Non-Exec Director and Chief Executive Officer. I'm known principally for uh, restructuring and refinancings, uh, usually of companies that have difficulties and challenges and bringing them back to life with money, with a new direction, new strategy and new operational plan. The most uh, prominent success story in that category is Greatland Gold, where the original investment level of 0.1 pence per share saw the share rise and climb to uh, an ultimate high of about 2.7 pence in a little under two years. I've also taken a more proactive role uh, on the boards of companies, and Metal Tiger is probably the best known for that. Uh, and in Metal Tiger, we signed a deal in Botswana back in 2015 that saw an original $100,000 investment balloon in value with the T3 copper discovery in Botswana. Metal Tiger sold its interest in the project back to MOD Resources, the joint venture partner, and MOD has recently been sold for around 170 million Australian dollars. Metal Tiger's disposal proceeds from that are about 24 million pounds, demonstrating it's possible to make significant capital returns in restructuring, refinancing, and taking projects forward and eventually selling them out to a larger organization. I'm now involved with Power Metal Resources, that was a restructuring and refinancing, and this time I'm taking a much more proactive and long-standing role on the board to bring that company forward. For further information on the company, please go to powermetalresources.com. I think it's important to note that any restructuring and refinancing exercise and Power Metal Resources, formerly African Battery Metals, was exactly that. It was a company that had failed to perform over a period of time and investors lost a lot of money. We have to be sensitive to that and anyone who invests in my company and the money that they put in I treat as my own from the perspective that I will care for it, nurture it and protect it. And my aim is to grow that money as fast and furiously as I can by building our business. Hard work, focus and dedication to the task. That's exactly what I've done over a number of years in many different companies and exactly what we're applying in Power Metal Resources. We're not in our business to make 8%, 10% per annum. We're in this business to make 8 to 10 times our original investment or more. And that's what I intend to try to do.